so yes hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope this video is good quality because <laughs> i am doing it with my phone and i had to come here because uh -huh, my usb card is full of uh it's full of content that needs to be edited and i of course i've not gotten time to edit everything and my backup i don't trust my backup because that's what i did i backed up my videos and i lost a lot of footage so i will need to do this with the phone so bear with me i hope the content i hope the do you see me better i hope the um, quality is good i hope the quality is good for your tv <laughs> yes because i know most of you are watching on tv and i hope this quality is good so today's video we will be talking about the reason as to why your nannies are leaving hmm? why are your nannies leaving can you remember how many nannies you've employed ever since you started employing nannies well if you can't we are not here to bash you this is not what we're here to do this is not what this video is about and before i even continue shout out to everyone everyone who has watched the previous video where i shared the questions you should ask your nanny during an interview and i have received quite a lot of you saying that it was detailed it was helpful and if you have not watched that video kindly go to the subscription box below i'll put the link up there so also so that also you don't get left out because this video is a continuation from the one in the description box eh? there are quite a number of us where you find your hiring and firing hiring and firing hire and firing nannies and sometimes you sit and wonder what could be the problem am i the problem what is this thing that is making these nannies not to stay am i not too good am i that bad you know and i have had quite a number of moms blaming themselves thinking that they are the reason as to why they are the reason as to why the nannies are living well the truth is yes you are part of the reason as to why the nannies are living because hey you are the one who brought them so there's something there's something that you did and sometimes it's not your fault but there is something that you did or something that you did not notice early enough that's why this nanny keeps going and that's why you keep going back to the hiring process so i can't stress enough i can't stress this enough moms do not stress yourself when a nanny leaves hmm? mungu anakuondoleanga wale wabaya there is a reason why she left so quit fretting over it and move on eh twende tukiendanga watoto lazima wa grow na watoto lazima tule eh so so when this one does not suit you or when this one does not work jump on to the next one so my name is friska or you can come in your kenya way more i am a kenyan youtuber based in nairobi kenya and i create content weekly right here so if you like this kind of content be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every time i post a new video so there are quite a number of things quite a number of reasons as to why your nannies are not staying here yeah? some are related to you some are not related to you eh? and we will start with the ones that are related to you the first one is of course clarity clarity on the tasks that you're expecting this nanny this incoming nanny will be playing in your house so sometimes you find you're hiring a nanny and you do not put it clear and you do not put it very clear what is expected of them hmm? so what are they supposed supposed to do because you see when you say a nanny most cases it means that she would only be taking care of the car of the kid eh? but when you say a nanny you know some say nannies but they actually mean domestic worker slash nanny slash housekeeper slash cook slash slash chef slash uh, what do you say chauffeur you know all those things so what do you mean when you're looking for this nanny what are the roles do you want her to come and play taking care of the kids cleaning the house cooking housekeeping you name it so you need to outline all those tasks and roles and put it in uh, roles that you're expecting your nanny to perform let them be very clear to her stated very clear to her 
and like i said in my previous video it is actually a discussion don't be a dictator it has to be something that she is capable of doing and comfortable doing otherwise if she is not comfortable doing it or she's not capable of doing it you will either fire her or she'll be frustrated and she will leave the job sawa sawa so be clear on the roles and the tasks that your nanny is supposed to be that she is supposed to play in your house okay the second thing as to why these nannies are not saying is because you did not conduct a very good i know we hate it i hate it i you know i've said that and i remembered how hard how bad it feels when you feel that you're cause of the problem eh? yeah but let's face it eh? the other reason is because you didn't conduct a good interview the process of hiring a nanny you didn't go about it very well and if you want to know how to go about this process click in the subscription box below i have shared a step by step questions that you should ask a nanny during an interview so during this interview you might have omitted something and so what happened is that you got some you got shortchanged is that a proper word to use right now that you got shortchanged you got someone who was not a proper fit for you so that's why you find you're hiring and firing all the time so conduct a proper a proper nanny hiring process includes four stages one is when you contact your contact person where you normally get your nannies from the second phase is now when you contact the nanny umeambiwa nani amepatikana you ask for her number or ways in which you can communicate to her before you go for a physical interview so contact uh, so conduct a phone interview first when you're done with that and umeridhika na hiyo continue to the physical interview after the physical interview now there is the probation period give your nanny's probation period and it could be anything between 1 week to 3 months depending on what you agree on that is the hiring process so it could be you didn't go through these processes very well and that's why you got a nanny who is not a good fit for you and that's why you fired her or that's why she quit her job okay the other thing that is making your nannies to go is salary related hey i am not here to say how much you should pay your nanny there is someone for everyone so i am not here to tell you how much you should pay your nanny what i'm saying is eh, between the amount she was expecting and the amount that you're offering what is the difference so let's say you're offering 10000 and the nanny was looking for a job for 15000 ukakubali kuchukua nani who was asking for 15000 akuje hapa kwako na 10000 this nanny has not stopped looking for a job that will pay her 15000 so once this nanny gets a job that will pay her what she was looking for which is 15000 she will quit her job na utabaki hapo na hiyo 10000 yako The other one is where you find you're offering 10,000 and the nanny quotes 6,000. Wewe unaona umeangukia, unasema umeangukia you will save some few coins there and you take this nanny who has quoted below your below what you're offering. So what will happen and what is in most cases is that this nanny is quoting hapa chini because she knows how much her service is worth. Mm? and she knows maybe with a kind of experience that she has she does not amount to maybe 10000 so that's why mbaki hapa 6000 so when we were 10000 unachukua mtu wa 6000 what will happen is atakuja itakuwa frustrations to poo eh frustrations to poo such that she will either get tired of being told how much she is not performing or you'll get tired of telling her how much she's not performing so you'll either fire her or she'll quit her job so when you're looking for a nanny don't dictate a salary hear it from them first let them tell you how much they are expecting to be paid yeah? so if they are way far above what you're offering wachana nai and if they are way far below what you're offering wachana nao but kama ni watu wako karibu na kwenye huko and it is a good inaitwaje a good 
difference and it's a good difference unaweza chukua huyo and let me tell you while we are here it is not how much you pay your nanny they do not stay because of how much you you pay them in most cases than not they stay because of the relationship or because of the working environment depending on how the working environment is they stay at only per 20000 the working environment ni toxic they will leave but ukilipa at 5000 na your uh, working environment is good they will stay so so the other reason as to why your nannies are leaving is because of your caretaker mama mboga your own friends <laughs> and majirani eh your neighbor yes and this is not only here it happens everywhere we've had like even maju unapata mothers head hunting nannies in the kids park anaenda na maybe during the time anapelekanga mtoto wake kwa park anaonanga there is a particular nanny who really takes care who really takes good care of a child they are taking care of and I'm like, hey, Kuja, I'll offer you more. And that's how they are poached. So you might find that every time you're conducting your very good process, your very good hiring process, and getting the best nannies, there is someone who is headhunting them from your house. They are being poached from your house. <laughs> by your neighbor, by your mama mboga, by your caretaker, by mutu wa maka by i don't know who else is in your neighborhood eh? so be very careful of who is around you utapata kuna huu jirani kuna huu mama jirani kazi yake ni kuchukua wasichana wa wenzake kwa hiyo plot akipelekea marafiki zake ama yeye yeah, sasa amejifungulia biro akiwa kwa nyumba anaambia eh hey, i'll get your job that you'll be paid more eh yeah, anaingia kwa hizi groups za facebook i have a i have a nanny who is looking for this and this much eh anapewa pesa yake ya agency wewe unabaki bila msichana wa kazi <laughs> vile vile unatuma mama unatuma msichana kwa mama mboga anapatana na mama mboga and of course we are humans she will share with the mama mboga maybe we have frustrations and mama mboga atakama eh nani masikia kuna mama fulani mwingine hapa anatafuta msichana wacha nimuulize kama alipata nitakwambia jioni <laughs> Kiateka unaleta msichana mzuri. Your askari, you know the watchman wa gate. Kiateka wamepata bibi. <laughs> Wewe unafanya kazi ya kutafutia watu mabibi kwa nyumba. Unapata hiyo nani amekuwa girlfriend wa Kiateka ama wa mtu wa maka. <laughs> And in, one, in that way Yonani's end up leaving the job. Atatoka kazini aende akaanze aka boma yake pia. The other reason as to why Yonani's are leaving is because of the house girls in your neighborhood. Hmm? You find these people have form cliques. Eh? Wanasikizana wakitoa watoto huko nje wanasikizana, they form groups, wanapendana, kuna kwa you know. Wanapendana cuz they live in the same hood as they should. Eh, because they should they are also allowed to form friendships and you know talk to other people so during these conversations they're having with other nannies atashia they share their frustrations and you know achievements eh salary ameongezwa oh kwa wanakulanga nini they share they share a lot these these nannies share a lot when they're together so ikwe hiyo nani ya kwetu anakuanga tu ana share mabaya mabaya oh how asikia ni yeye tu hajaongezwa mshahara asikia ni yeye tu siji hajafanywa nini eh atambe eh huko kwenu ni kubaya Sio acha tukuta inaitwa acha nitaambia mama mama Kayla kutafutia kazi kwingine. <laughs> mama Kayla is just a character created. Eh? Yes, unapata wana maharibu kichwa, anaambia he acha tukuonyeshe tafuta kazi kwingine huko kwa siku nzuri. Hmm. Huko wasiana hata hawakaangi. Huko huyo mama ni mbaya, huyo hakaangi na wasichana hata wewe anza tu kutafuta tu kazi. <laughs> Wasichana wanja kwa rupia msichana na hivyo ndivyo mchana wako anaenda. The other reason as to why your nanny is not staying is because you're too friendly. Hmm? You're too friendly with them. Wewe when you are looking for a nanny you are also looking for a friend. <laughs> That is a mistake. Eh? 
I'm not saying that when they come to the house, you don't talk to them. Yeah? There should be some boundaries. Yeah? When you find yourself telling your nannies things that you should be telling your friends, there's an issue. Hmm? Na mutazoea na sana, kutakuwa na uzoefu sana katia kona e. And sometimes, she is a human, she will take it too far and she might start seeing, ah, hii sitafanya siya. Mama, 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 tina kuna kitu atafanya. Ah, sidi mama, mama, tina afata. Ah, tilikuwa di belala. So she'll come and give some very lame, lame excuses expecting you to be okay with them. So she's confused. When you start making noise, when you start questioning her, her, her behaviors, and on our now overreact. Hmm? And that is how she will live. So don't overstep those boundaries. Be friendly to them. Talk to them. Because you're living in the same house, it's good to know. Mutu ameshinda aje. You know, how is everyone at home? You know, it's good these questions you ask. Talk to them, yes. But don't overstep the boundaries. Let it be very clear that you're the boss and people should at all time perform their tasks. Yeah? Well... I thought I would not even mention this in this video. But imagine it is happening. Food. Chakula ni kitu cha muhimu sana kwa uhai. And especially to someone who is working from 5 to 5, from 5 to 10, it's very important. Moms, I know the economy ni mbaya sana na imeka mbaya sana. But to see what we are what chakula. I know economy ni mbae na tuchapa kila sisi, kila mtu. But usipimia mtu mchakula. Kama wewe ni wale watu wako, kwa sababu you are eating one spoon, everyone should eat one spoon. Eh? Hey, utabaki tu peke yako kwa nyumba. Ha? Huh? Utabaki peke yako kwa nyumba. Because you cannot dictate how much, how people eat, how much people eat in the house. Maybe what you should do is just to make sure that people are not wasteful. That food is not being wasted. But other than that, usinime watu chakula. He, wale watu kufungia chakula bedroom. Yani wale watu wanafungianga chakula kwa fridge. Alafu na muachia chakula hapa ya mtoto, umemuachia yogurt ya mtoto, umemuachia chakula cha mtoto, umemuachia matunda ya mtoto, juice ya mtoto. Izo zote zitanywe wanazitaliwa if the nanny has no food. So make sure when you given so make sure that you feeding your nannies na wanakula na wanashiba kuna nani za kikuja hapo na sita taja ni wakutoka wapi apate unamwambia kule kijiko moja utabaki hapo mama utabaki hapo peke yako na kijiko chako kimoja hey watch in your diet we all have our own ways of doing things we cannot all be identical okay kama mtu vile anapikanga chapati si vile wewe unapika Hmm? It is not a problem. It is not an issue. As long as they are good chapatis, zimeiva, they are soft. Si lazima zikuwe na lea. Wewe una, zako zina kuanga na lea. Utapata watu wako a nani who is very good na zake azikuange na lea. The best thing you can do is to teach them. So you will find we cannot get someone who is doing things exactly as you are doing them. Eh? Ama exactly as you do. Ama exactly as you expect them. So you need to sort of some... Step, do some stepping back and let the nanny do her job. Micromanaging is too much, can be too much to some nannies and they will end up leaving. And they will end up leaving. Okay? When you're about to get a nanny, jiite kamkutano. Na ujiambie priska, we are about to get someone in this house. Someone who will be cooking and doing and doing and doing. Things that I have been used to doing, but now I have to let go. Things that I have, I do so well, but she might not do them as well as I do. So you need to let go. You need to let go and let Nani do her work. You need to welcome her. Yani, accept the help. Accept that help because that's the reason why she is there. Hmm? Usi hae nani, alafu wenda puwewe ndiyo jikoni, wewe ndiyo mtoto, wewe ndiyo nini. That is a sign to show that you are not ready to get a nani. So you need to be ready, mentally prepared, to have someone who is going to take over. Sort of, those things that, most of those things that you have been doing. 
Okay? In some cases, you're not the problem. The nanny is the problem. Hmm? You unaweza kuwa uli conduct a very good hiring process. You went through all those stages. You were very clear on what you wanted. You were very clear on what you are offering. And then she ticked all those boxes. And then you come to the house. And after some few weeks, few months, wana toka. It is not your problem. It happens that out here, we also have nannies who are not serious with their jobs. You find she's, yes, very good with her work, but she's not serious. You sure you know how to work? Asha quit job. Kazi kikasika akikasisho kidogo tu hivi. Kazi asha acha. Ni kazi gani haina makelele? Even your boss in the office kuna time anakasirikanga na waamkia nyinyi wote. Ni kazi gani iko smooth? Hakuna. Not unless you may employ. So unapata your nani aki, aki uki, yani kuna those nannies akikeleleshwa kidogo hivi. Asubuhi mnapatana naye kwa gate, mnapatana naye kwa mlango ukitoka nataka kutoka. You know? Then kuna akikasirishwa kazi iki, you know akiambiwa kitu tu hivi yani those who do not take instructions lightly eh so you have such so ukiangukia kama huyo umefanya interview yako vizuri sana but umeangukia kama huyo akikasirishwa tu hivi kidogo anaenda ataenda that is her character she does not have the patience that this job requires because let me tell you being a nanny is not an easy job. It means with putting up with everyone's diary. And it can be hectic. And mistakes will happen along the way. Now, utakelelesho sometime. Hmm? Sometimes utakelelesho. But kama you can't keep up. Kama you cannot kelelesho, always kelelesho. Job utaacha. And that's how they live, okay? Moms. I know hapa mutanipige ya mawe. Mutaniambia... Oh, watoto wako kwao, sijui nini nini. But the other reason as to why your nannies are not staying is because sometimes kids can be unruly. Kids can be disrespectful to the nanny. You find in some house the kids do not respect their nannies. They don't, you know, they don't respect them. They are rude to them, wanawongelesha vile wanataka. Nilisikia places zingine mpaka wazazi wanaruhusu watoto wachape nannies. Hey, hey, you moms. Hey, moms can be something. Hey. Yeah, nasikia, there's so much, there's so many things out here. And when I'm talking about the kids, eh, I'm not talking about the small ones. I'm talking about the school-going kids. School-going kids ni mtu wanambiongo na mwalimu sit, stand, sit, stand na nafanya. It should be the same for a nanny. When a nanny requests a child to do something, the child should obey. You should teach your kids, please, to obey the nannies as well. Kids should be taught to obey their elders. And their elders is from the nanny. Eh? So if the nannies are not feeling respected by your kids, they will leave your household. Na utabaki kazi yako ni kutafutanga wasichana. And I am not here to say I am the best. Yeah, I do not come here with a wand on how respectful kids should be. I am not reprimanding anyone. I am not calling out mothers saying that you're not raising your kids. Vizuri. I am just saying that sometimes if the nanny feels disrespected by the kids, they will leave their job. And you'll end up back again in the hiring process. Or whether you keep hiring and firing, hiring and firing. Of which sometimes, let's be truthful, it can be destabilizing. Okay? So yes, check whether your kids are respectful to your nannies. Eh? It's good to teach your kids to even clean up after themselves, even if they have nannies in their house. Akimaliza kukula food, teach your child to remove their plate from the table to the sink, ama to the, from the table to where the, the, the plate is supposed to go. Eh? If a child remove is undressing, teach the child to remove the clothes from the floor or from the bed, to the laundry basket or where you keep the dirty clothes so that's it guys and we have come to the end of this video i hope you found it very helpful as well if you did let me know in the comment section below and if there's something that you feel i've left out put it also in the comment section below there are so many moms watching this video and they will pick it from there as well let us all learn he ulezi heikujangi na manual we learn on the way and we learn as we go so, so. It's the same about the nannies as well. There is no manual. 
you learn on the go all right so thank you for watching this video up to this far i will see you in the next one so until next time it's